What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Dave Reviews. And today we're going to be going over Jujutsu Kaisen, chapter 190, titled Tokyo Number 2 Colony Part 9. Our last chapter. Hey, I feel like the battle's winding down when you release a huge, massive thing of chlorine gas on, and Hakari's damn immortality was running out. Did he make it? I don't know. I want to say that he did. I want to say that he does because he's just hard to kill. But he has not unleashed any real massive attacks besides just hands. And that's not going to get the job done here. That's not going to get it done. I'm just going to hop right into the chapter. Drip, drip, drip. Is this just the app? Oh, this has to be the after effect of the water just going into the air. An explosion in the sea. Hakari and Kashimo. Who'll come out on top? As this rain keeps raining. I mean, I want to say this shit's deadly. <laughs> <laughs> lethal, but no, it's, it's just regular water, but the chlorine gas is absolutely lethal. Wouldn't that affect Kashimo as well, though? I want to say yes. But because he used his cursed energy, is the chlorine gas imbued with his cursed energy? These are the questions that I have. But as this continues to rain down on Tokyo number... Oh, it's Panda! Little baby Panda! Little baby Panda! I told you. Panda's gonna be the one. <laughs> Panda's gonna be the one. You don't get to whoop his ass like that, and then you just get be done with it. I'm assuming that the reason that he's small is because he lost his siblings. So he's out there. I went. I almost thought he was wearing a diaper, but it's a, it's this Hakari. So he's just out there, and there's a hand, a hand on the ground. If it's a Hakari's, wait a minute. Why would? Why would his hand explode? It was just chlorine gas, right? Maybe it's just because of the explosion of chlorine gas. I mean, is it explosive like that? I would assume so. But his hand is done. But that's not the first time he's lost an arm. So just out in the sea on the pier, hand comes out. Kashimo. <sighs> My cursed energies run out. But that guy's at least. You think he's dead? Your cursed energy is done. Now you're dead. <laughs> Now nah, you're dead. Oh, no, you're free. You're free for the killing. You're free pickings for whoever. Sis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what happens. That's what happens, sir. Bow! Never take your eyes off the prize. The fate is always inevitable. You thought I was done? You thought I was done? catches a nasty fade Hikari out there smiling with just one arm but he'll probably get it back after re releasing the dome and expansion actually your best bet might have been staying in the water but it was also affecting you it would it was a lose-lose situation or a win-lose situation i don't know but you see since you just lost lost says hey in one go kashimo released all the cursed energy he'd been holding back from leaking out. Before his cursed energy transferred into the seawater, it transformed into thermal energy, creating a steam explosion. So that was just straight up steam. So it wasn't chlorine gas, or maybe it was a mix of both. He says, <laughs> what the hell? You're supposed to be in pieces right now. He says, you didn't want me to expand my domain again, no matter what. Because it would have been a probability change next. So even if I survived the explosion, you'd make sure to take out my arm. So he ripped his arm off. Can he not cast a, Can you not cast a domain without the hand signs? I would assume that the hand signs are very important because there would be no other reason for you to just pose like that unless you just wanted to be a badass. But it, it, it's making it seem... Like hands are crucial in the formation of a barrier or a domain. Says to keep me from making the hand seal. Yep. So I sacrifice my left arm the way I protect the rest of my body. Says so he used an impromptu binding vow. You definitely hitting Hunter X Hunter points right now. You're absolutely hitting Hunter X Hunter points right now. Because when you 
Like, I'm going to sacrifice my arm. By sacrificing this arm, I'm making a vow that he probably says, I can't get it back. I can't get this shit back. This is what it is. But I want to be able to still do A, B, C, and D. Hold on, let me keep reading. It says, so he used an impromptu binding vow, sacrificing his arm to transfer the cursed energy originally used in protecting his arm to instead protect the rest of the body, strengthening himself against the explosion. See? proficient proficiency with his cursed energy he just ain't out here just running the gambit quote unquote he's out here being thorough and proficient with his cursed energy and cursed energy usage he knows how to fucking use it he knows that when you got that much of it why the fuck not why the fuck not says i'm just gonna reinforce or extra reinforce the rest of my body by sacrificing my arm I still want to say he could get his arm back if he hits. But can he do a domain now? Can he do a partial domain? He says, hurry up and kill me already. He don't want you to die. He just wants your points. Give him the points and you survive. He says, I ain't going to kill you. If I did, those 100 points would go poof. Guess so. Kashimo, I don't think I won that. I mean, you didn't even use your curse technique. What? Didn't he? Did he not? Did he not use electricity on this man several times and try and blow him to smithereens? Says you're already incredibly strong with just your manipulation of cursed energy and its special property. Says how do you know? Oh, so I was right. Just my intuition. Intuition too strong. The force of luck is on my side. Why didn't he use the cursed technique though? It's because my curse technique can only be used a single time. And I wish to use it against only one person. Sukuna. Nothing more. I'm assuming he's talking about his domain expansion. And that's it. I have to assume he's talking about his domain expansion. Because I swear he used his cursed energy. Well, if he just used... Is his cursed energy passive? Like the electricity is just a passive thing of his ability and he just used it, uses it pro proficiently? Because if that's the case, I think that's what Akari was probably getting at. Like you manipulated the fuck out of your cursed energy and its special property, but you never really used a cursed technique, which means that if he can only use it one time, that it's extremely powerful. So he doesn't need a domain if you have something like this in your arsenal that you can use one time. It's, it's Yusuke's spirit gun. I'm using it once a day. And every time I pop it off, it's going to get the job done. But he wants to use it on Sukuna. Is that fight going to happen? But no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because Sukuna is Yuji. You ain't going to let that ride, though. Says, let's make a deal, Kashimo. D No, wait. Did he tell you who he wants to fight? Because if he ain't tell you who he wanted to fight, if you made a deal to go out and be like, yeah, I help you find him. Hell, I helped you whoop his ass. You going to help him whoop, whoop Yuji's ass? <laughs> what? But, but I feel like Yuji's okay if you whoop Sakuna's ass and that's his body. Like, fuck it, kill me. I mean, he's died like two or three times now. He's okay. He's all right for it. <laughs> <laughs> He's all right for it. So Panda comes over the fence. Hikari, Panda, says, you're looking pretty cute too. Talking to baby Panda, who's probably a fucking monster. Like he's got it. He's going to have to get bigger. Or he's Kid Boo right now. <laughs> Kid Boo is a serious, serious threat. More so than Majin Boo. Even though Majin Boo was stronger, Kid Boo was just, nah, I'm just maniacal madness. <laughs> Maniacal madness. There's nothing holding me back now. It's all me. And the fact that Pan is still standing. Pan is strong. So Pan is still there to whoop somebody's ass. He can't just be out here in this chibi form <laughs> without having to go up against somebody. Not not Kashimo. Because that wasn't going to get the job done. Somebody else. Somebody else will go catch the work from Panda. How Panda delivers this work is yet to be seen. But I'm eagerly looking forward to Panda whooping some ass. And now, look at these two motherfuckers walking like badasses as this dude has one arm. I don't know if he can get that back. I don't know. Says, great timing. This guy's with us now. Says, huh? 
That's a strong ass team, man. <laughs> That's a strong ass team. Says, I ain't doing this for nothing, you know. Yeah, I know. You sure are persistent. Says, what? Why? He definitely fucked me up. <laughs> Why are we doing this? I was just ahead. Let him fight with Sukuna. That's what he wants anyway. Says, huh? Car said, I want the points, bitch. Go ahead and fight with Yuji. Or Sakuda. I don't know how that's going to fare. Hakari's got to be going based off of, I want to see him fight. Because I want to see him fight too. I want to see him fight. But I, I'm I'm hanging my hat on or leaning more towards Sakuna whooping your ass. And then everybody else joins in. But I don't think Sakuna's going to make an appearance. Or Yuji's going to let that happen. <sighs> Oof. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting dicey. It's not a problem, right? And he's looking intently. He says, of course it's a problem. Says, a Kuhai must obey the commands of their senpai, right? Says, I've got somewhere to go later. You two wait here. Were you talking about Yuji? Were you just saying Yuji, Yuji? So you just going to go up to Yuji and say, hey, Yuji, swap out. Swap out with Sakuna. Let him whoop his ass. <laughs> he said he ain't got no choice I'm the sensei right I'm a senpai right yeah go ahead go whoop his ass switch out let him whoop his ass and then you know if you survive then that is what it is if Sukuna just runs him up but you can't let that ride Akari. you can't let that ride like Sukuna between Sukuna and bootleg ghetto or, Kish, or uh, Kenjaku they're plans. He's been playing in for years. Years. But he's still, I mean, even still, he's make, He's still making his promise. To, or uh, Kenjaku is still delivering on his promise to Kashimo to let him fight Sukuna. I'm just like, did he plan for this? Did he plan for something like this? You just not going to let him switch out. But... In the honor of fighting, in the fair spirit of fighting, switch out. You putting everybody at risk, man. <laughs> he says, whoa. He says, I've got somewhere to go later. You two wait here. He says, no way. It's scary. Don't leave me alone with him. Yeah, he, that ain't what you want. Don't, that, ain't what you, that ain't what you want. Don't leave me with him, bro. <laughs> but he ain't got no cursed energy right now. Does Pan have cursed energy? I mean, he can give him the fade, right? Right? I want to say yes. But where are you going? Are you going to go get your arm back? Or are you going to go recruit some more uh, enforcement? Like, where are you going in, the, in all of this? Who are you going to go find in this state? Sis, Sakuna is a Kohai? Yeah, I know it's confusing, right? It's confusing as fuck. Sis, a player has added a rule to the culling game. Rule 10. Players can give any amount of points they want to another player. Was there a limit? Did he just make that rule? Or is that just a previous rule that's just now taking effect and somebody else is hearing it? He says, why are you back? Is that Charles? <laughs> is that Charles? I mean, he utterly, he utterly did crush and defeat him. There's nothing you can do. It's like, hey, hey, you don't want none of these problems. Just admit admit defeat. Give me your points. I'm going to go walk over here. You sit your ass right there. I'll be right back. I'm going to go fight a motherfucker. Then I'm going to go get his points, and then I'm going to come back. If nothing else, Sakari is effective and efficient. <laughs> effective and efficient. Says, or rather, what happened to your arm? Says, don't worry about it. It'll be fixed later. Well, that answered my damn question. <laughs> he just sacrificed the arm, reinforced the body. He could do that at any time. Now, this dude's absolutely broken. Absolutely broken. Whoop, reinforced the body. And that's, and that's without the domain or the immortal body. I could just sacrifice limbs willy-nilly and reinforce my body and shit. It'll be all right. But again... I guess he could have somebody like a reverse curse technique user give him another arm because he can't do no damn hand signs. Says, is it really fixable? 
Either way, what are you back for? There's something I forgot to ask you. If you're here for life philosophy, don't even bother. I learn everything important from manga. He knows what's up. <laughs> he knows what's up. Says, but doesn't it feel nice to go on a rampage sometimes? What are you talking about? Not everything needs you to talk it through to get the an- the right answer. Okay. I guess he's quoting the manga and he's speaking his language. The way you kill is the way you live. I guess it's like that. What's it called? What do you mean? Your manga. Tell me the name. I'll buy it and take a look. Maybe you've misunderstood. It's so during this whole fight, when he was talking about, I've got manga on the mind, he was thinking about a manga that Charles had. It was like, after I'm done here, I'm going to go find Charles. I'm going to go find Charles, and I'm going to go ask for that damn manga so I can fucking read it during the fucking calling game. <laughs> this dude, Hakari, is on another level. Says, I'm a newcomer who hasn't even debuted yet. I've never published any... Tonka Bonds. Oh, so he's asking for his manga that he wrote. Damn. You ain't got nothing. Says, won any awards? Not yet. So he starts kicking him. Bullshit. Said, please, that hurts. No more. No more whooping my ass, please. I've had enough. I've seen enough. Seen enough. He's mad because he was willing to go over here and be like, "Hey, I was going. I was thinking about your manga. I figured you'd be a good mangaka, and I thought you had some good shit in the works. You ain't got shit." Because he killed the publisher. <laughs> he definitely did. Says, "What are you doing? What's a newbie worrying like that for? Go draw. The time for killing each other is over. Just imagine you've already been killed and get yourself drawing. That's easier said than done." You just can't leave the Cullen game? Can you? Like, what? You just want him to just draw and write a manga here? What are you thinking? Says Hikari Kun. Oh, what are you doing here? What do you do? I didn't know you were in there. You don't need to be here. You don't have what it takes. I mean, you're pretty effective with the with the room and shit, but you. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know if you have what it takes. Nishimiya. Whoa, a magical girl. Yeah, get the writing. Get the writing. All the stuff that you need is in front of your face right now on a silver platter. Says, sorry, let me be blunt. Did you get 100 points yet? Says, oh, I've got the real thing. What the hell's going on here? All right, hold on. Says, these four rules... We're preparing to add R. Number one, Yuji, I believe this is when Yuji has received the points. One, allow players to transfer points to prevent curse technique removal death. That happened with Yuji. This is number two. Allow players to withdraw from the culling game by using their 100 points to let a substitute take their place. So is that what they're going to use Hikari's points for? To rescue victims of the culling game and save Fushiguro's sister, who I think wants to actively participate in these culling games and has killed a good plethora of individuals. But because they haven't registered that on their player screen, I don't think that's the case. But I wouldn't be surprised if it is. (laughs) So number three, disable the jamming of electrical signals in the colonies to understand each colony situation before adding. So oh, these strategies, bro, they out here on a mission. Damn near mission impossible. They're doing it all. It says four, allow free entry and exit of colonies to rescue victims of the culling game. They're taking full advantage of these damn rules. That's a lot of points to, to get. But hold on, that's one, two, three, four. That's four sets of hundreds, 400 points. Hakari got 100, Yuji got 100. I want to say Fushiguro got some points as well. 
he got some points from Kimmel because he didn't they didn't turn over their dead points and that's why they had to go. But they had to go for a whole bunch of other reasons too. Cause they was running, they was playing games with Fushi Girl. Y'all in my way, y'all said y'all was gonna take me to such and such. Now y'all just got to die. Now we could have been homies, like Kashimo and Hikari. Now y'all playing games. Now you're dead, Reggie. What happened? <laughs> what happened? We can delay the one that establishes communications between colonies. You can. You still need it, but you can't delay it. You got enough strong people in each colony to where you're fine. But they got to make sure that they meet up with each other. I don't know what Fushi Girl is with this angel, but as long as she brings him to Yuji, all will be right with the world. Says, huh? Isn't that necessary for four? There was even a really dangerous guy here in Tokyo number two. Yes, there was. His name is Akari. <laughs> Absolutely dangerous. And then Kashibo. <laughs> but yeah, they're all dangerous. Since Maki-chan can enter and exit the barriers at will. Whoa. She's not beholden to the rules. She's not a sorcerer. So she can just waltz up and just whoop ass? Oh no. Oh, no. Are there any Zenin in here? Outside of Fushiguro. Are there any, any Zenin in here? Anybody? If I kill them all, I got to kill some more. <laughs> got to kill some more mofos. No. No, I didn't. So she just going to go around and just give me your points. No. Yeah, I got. Give me your points. No. Yeah, I got. Give me your points. No. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Wait, please. Please, she ain't got no problem ending the motherfucker or two or 55 <laughs> or 55 or 100. I hear pulling off her best Itachi. Oh, no. Says, and with the help of Mason's younger brother, we can solve the problem of three. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't really need it. <sighs> Hold on. How is that Zenin able to just go through the barriers? That's because she's become, become what? The one, the one who reigns true terror, horror, and fear upon anybody who steppeth upon her path. With great vengeance comes great death. <laughs> no, no, son, no. I don't know if Kenjaku planned for that. Yeah, become what? A monster. Oh no, she's in the process of hoeing so many cursed creatures. A monster. Look at her. Unfazed. Cutting with the blade of her sister. Right through. Slicing and dicing. Look at you. Look at you looking like a badass. Oh no. She is the ruler of the colonies. Don't cross her path. You don't want none of that. None of that. None of that Kashimo actually if Kashimo ran across her he'd be done <laughs> he'd be done you want to talk about strength power speed and force and ferocity and proficiency she's got it blood lusted there's no happiness to be had here only blood splatter blood splatter <laughs> he says oh no Look at these, look at his eyes, son. Look at her, look at these eyes. She's happy about the death that she's dishing out. The great death dealer. I am a Shinigami, the soul reaper. Says November 14th, 3.05 p.m. Sakurajima colony. Sakurajima colony has been cleared. I don't need to read nothing else. That colony's cleared. There's not a damn cursed spirit user. There's not a, cur a sorcerer in there. There's nothing left alive in there. If you cross the path, you're dead. Good, bad, in between, it don't matter. If you ain't a friend, you an enemy. <laughs> you an enemy. Destruction coming out the day of tunnels. Tunnels says, you've changed, Maki. Look who's talking. Noritoshi. Well, he cut his hair. He still got the bow. You better hope you on the same side. Don't you oppose. Don't you oppose her. If you want to live, don't oppose her. <laughs> don't oppose her. But... Mm. Ugh. Is he technically a sibling of Chozo? Hmm. Says you've become stronger and I've only fallen behind. 
the position of Kamo, of Kamo family head has fallen to someone else. As a bastard son, I can only be discarded. Oh, she knows all too well about that, being discarded and whatnot. So they're just walking past each other. Oh, you. Oh, okay. <laughs> no friendly fire here. Keep it moving. Nothing to see here. Just clearing out these colonies. But he's clean. If he's been in a couple of fights, he also doesn't have any injuries. The Archer Infamy right here says, I personally think you're better now, especially compared to that depressing haircut you used to have. Says, huh, same to you. Oh, and they're walking together. Okay. Okay. She still can be cordial. Right now, most of the dangerous sorcerers and curses have been taken care of. By whom? By them. <laughs> By them. After leaving the colony and meeting with Ui Ui, it's best to hurry on to the next colony. That guy was involved in my personal affairs before. You're sure it'll be all right? Those two siblings are famous for scheming after all. Says, I think they'd call it diversifying risk and making upfront investments. The hell are you talking about? Shocked face. Shocked look on their faces. What has occurred? Yo, I'm Kagane. The deathmatch known as the Culling Game is underway inside of this barrier. Once you step in, you're a player too. Knowing that, do you still want to enter the colony? Shut up. What the hell is this thing? Who the hell are you? Because something's falling from the ground. What the hell are you? And what are these things on what I'm assuming is your face? Or I'll kill you. What? What is this? An unknown curse descends. It's definitely got arms. Is this like a caterpillar or a centipede or something? Hold on. How, first off, how big is this thing? Because it's still looking like it, a lot of its body is coming out of the sky. On the tail end. Kagane's fucking scared. Eek! I mean, he did, he did get fucking, fucking threatened. <laughs> but, um... You're giving me uh, killer cockroach vibes. All these damn bug-like creatures of pure sinister evil. Oh, and the, the fact that they they were shocked and surprised at his presence. They're going to whip his ass. They're going to whip his ass. But if I get to see Maki in action again like this, give me all of that. Give me all. The Cullen game has been epic. I've seen everything that I wanted to see. And then some. And there's still more to go. Give me all of Maki. <laughs> Give me all of Maki. The other guy's cool too. He's cool. I don't think he's Chozo cool. Your blood manipulation is okay with these arrows. But Chozo, 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 Chozo was out here. That's another fight too. Because Chozo is over there protecting Tien. So it's just like, ah, there's going to fight and it's going to happen there. And then like, um, Toto Sensei is over there. And she got this cursed dragon creature right next to her, which this thing low-key reminds me of. But no, dude, like this thing right here, I feel like it has the capability to evolve and then like just break its shell. Like a fucking hollow going into an Espada. This is the thing. This is what I feel like this thing has the capability to do. Oh no. Yeah, give me all of that. Give me all of that. Chaos is coming. <laughs> Chaos is coming to destruction. But that's it, in chat, guys. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and check out some of the other content on the channel. Pass that because you got to the next one. Peace.